Right, so I'm going to do a mechanism to draw a curve um, called the Capricornoid of Poincelet. Um, so fairly straightforward little mechanism and creates this uh, fourth order um, curve called, I'll say it once more, once more, the Capricornoid of Poincelet. So here's the mechanism. Um, we're going to have Um, actually, we're not going to have that. Let me just back up. Um, we're going to have a rocker arm, which comes out kind of like this. And um, its position, um, we will specify, uh, particularly this is below the x-axis, and call that A. And we're now going to have a crank uh, turning from the origin, uh, which goes up to that mechanism. We're also going to have uh, um, another uh, connection to the, uh, sorry, to the to the rocker arm there. Uh, this one is a slider, so that the length is not specified, but the angle is. It's going to be perpendicular here, and this length will be specified. Um, we'll make that length. Um, and now um, we're going to make that one uh, turn. So we'll give it an angle theta. And then what we need to, to look for is the curve that E traces as theta varies. And there it is. Uh, we can get some differences. Uh, we could look at different formats of it by varying um, B and uh, A, uh, the relative size of B and A. And we can um, uh, take a look at its equation. Uh, there it is. Uh, not, 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 not too desperately complicated. Um, the Capricornoid of Poincelet.